Hi everybody, Dr. Baumholtz. And today we're gonna to talk about a topic that I'm particularly passionate about, and that is aesthetic breast surgery or breast surgery in general. And a little bit about the way I explain breast surgery and the needs or the surgeries to match needs to my patients and my residents. Okay, so I generally tell people that you can take all of breast surgery and divide it into three buckets. And I try to simplify it. Let's take a complex topic and let's make it as simple as we can. The three buckets are, are as follows. There are volume operations, position operations, and correction of differences operations. Now, when I say corrections of differences, I don't mean the fact that your breasts aren't exactly alike. In fact, very few people have breasts that are exactly alike, and I tell most women that their breasts are neighbors. They grew up next to each other, but they are not mirror images. What I'm talking about in corrections of differences is more what I do in the reconstructive side of my practice, where we take a woman that maybe lost a breast due to cancer or was born with a breast difference, like we would see sometimes at the Shriners Hospital. We're talking about um, significant differences or a biopsied breast where it is now uh, changed by the scarring. So that will be uh, a different topic. Volume operations. Now, typically, volume operation means using an implant to make the breast bigger, but a breast reduction, believe it or not, is also a volume operation. We're making the breast smaller, but generally we're going to talk about either making it bigger or making it smaller. Okay. Position operations has to do with either how the nipple or the breast mound itself is positioned on the body wall. The single biggest issue that I see um, as in my surgical practice where I see a lot of women who've had surgery someplace else and they've come seeking an opinion is that a volume operation was used in an attempt to solve a position problem. And so at the end of the day, if you have a position problem, for the most part, you need a position solution. A bigger and bigger implant, more commonly than not, will just give you a larger, saggier breast. Now let's understand each other. They're your boobs, they're not mine. If that would make you happy, nothing would make me happier. So what we do in terms of helping our patients decide what they want is we ask them to go to Google and we have them Google naked breast implant and naked breast implant lift in body types similar to theirs and screenshot these pictures and then bring them with them to the consultation. If you are being honest with yourself in the pictures that you take, then what I get to see, number one, is how truthful you are being about how you look and then how realistic your expectations are. Number one thing I do day in and day out is I try my best to manage expectations. Well, I hope this little video was helpful to you as you begin to think about your um, breast journey. Um, and if you have additional questions, please reach out and contact us at the practice. It's Dr. Baumholtz. Have a great day.